Men themselves have wondered what they see in me. They try so much, but they can't touch my inner mystery. When I try to show them, they say they still can't see. I say, it's in the arch of my back, the sun of my smile, the ride of my breasts, the grace of my style. I'm a woman, phenomenally. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Like Water for Chocolate. It's your girl, Truth, and of course, I got Lex Love here with me. Hello, you How are you? I'm good. We were just sitting here chatting and it's almost feeling like a therapy session. <laughs> I know, right? We should have just had the record already we going. We should have just had it going. Because we were talking some good stuff yeah. and getting everything out. And it feels good sometimes to just get shit out. That's Yes. Because I'd be having shit on my mind. Me too. All the time. Mm-hmm. And I wish I could just turn it off. Yeah, that's why I need to start journaling again. <laughs> as Man, corny as that even sounds. journaling, I noticed you can't I start do it. writing all over the place now. <laughs> I have way too many thoughts going on right now. I need yeah. some some true zen time. Yeah, a whole little staycation. Mm-hmm. I don't even need to go anywhere. Right, I just need to lock myself away <clears throat> in a nice little room with a bathtub, mm-hmm. preferably a ju- jacuzzi tub. Right, with no phone. I don't want my phone. Mm-hmm. Music. I know the first hour I'll probably go crazy because I'm like, oh my God, I don't got my phone with me. But I'll make sure people got like the room number in case it's an emergency. <laughs> right. But I need my phone to like be off so that I don't get on social media. I need a whole cleanse, a whole mental cleanse. I do that from time to time. Even if it's not crazy, maybe just a day or two, but like that break away from everything feels so good. Yeah. And all I do is watch like my shitty TV that I like so much. <laughs> Let's catch up on music or go outside and try to get the backyard together. Like little simple things. That you wouldn't do if your face was in your phone. Yes. Yep. There you go. There you yes. have it. 24 yes. hour social media cleanse. Yes, please. I'm Writing it on it. my calendar. I, mean, I need to do it. It's not that bad. It's literally, you know, when you think about it. I don't even like social media for regular things anymore. It's I don't all care all the post stuff. Like, if you if people have looked at my social media as of recently, yeah. it is all about business. Yes, and I find if it is a random post, I find a way to tie it back into business, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and that's just where I am with social media now. Yeah, well, it's a good tool. That's where I find news. Except Snapchat, Snapchat, I get to be Snapchat funny. is fun. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I love Snapchat. Yeah, Snapchat is my regular me, but like Instagram and Facebook, I don't want to read your "what was me" stories anymore. <laughs> I don't want to see your fucking subliminals because you're not bold enough to say it to the person. Yeah. I don't want to see any of that anymore. I don't want to see um, I'm as old as anymore. Um, that was weird. I don't, I don't even know where that came from. I don't. Someone started and it just caught. So <laughs> I saw that. Shout out to that person because you did make a whole movement. Just made me feel all kinds of old. <laughs> I was right. like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Checking it all off. I just, I don't want to see it anymore. So I just, I think it's time for that little break. But I got to yeah. push my event first. And then after that, I'll take a little break. And you like Instagram anyways the most, right? Yeah, because like you don't got to see all the whoa, it's me. Yeah, that's true. It's just pics. That's true. But now people are starting to fucking screenshot what they said on Facebook and put it on their <laughs> Instagram. Like, dude, this is true. leave that shit on Facebook, please. And thank you. Like, just leave it there. That's what Facebook is for. <laughs> Don't put it on Instagram. That's so true. Nobody cares. Sometimes I'll take a stroll through Facebook and I'll uh, have to comment real quick. I do that every once in a while because I'm like, dude. Or like, <laughs> like, I'll even say the positive. If I'm seeing a lot of positive stuff, I'll say, man, I'm seeing some real positive stuff. That's pretty cool. My timeline was like that um, maybe towards the end of last week. Uh-huh. And then this week. It's giving me a headache. Like, I get on, post what I need to post, and get right back just off. just a shit show on there, huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm over it. <laughs> so, so over it. Yeah. Social media break. What else? What else do we need a break from? I need a break a from break working. Two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on all levels yeah. of working, I just want to be me. Like a vacation, an actual vacation. Where I'm not responsible for shit. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. for real. not resp- I'm not responsible for even cooking my own food. Yes. I don't want to be responsible for brushing my own teeth. I'm just kidding. I'm brushing myself. <laughs> but <laughs> I just don't want to be responsible for anything or feel like I have to worry about anything. Right. Everything I just want to be. Just, yes. Yes. That's, I just want to be. I want to oh, ground. Nice. I want to put my feet in the grass or in the sand or whatever. And I just want to be still. Yeah. 
We should try and uh, plan a trip to Belize. Oh, Belize. That so sounds amazing. Bad. But the way my bank account is set up True, right now, we, we can, can maybe take an impromptu <laughs> trip to Cali. <laughs> We'll get close to some water. <laughs> we could go to Cali. Yeah, and yeah. I can afford to put my feet in that sand right okay, now. Okay, okay, okay. But we will be able to go to Belize soon. Oh, and I want to go to Thailand because I want to play with the elephants. Elephants. Oh, yeah. Yes. Definitely need to do that. So what we were talking about before um, we, we started have. recording, <laughs> um, which we should have just had it going, is showing up for yourself. Yes. On all good. aspects. Right. All aspects showing up for yourself and stop blaming everyone else for what your life doesn't have yes so everyone who's been a fan and been listening to us and been a part of our family and our tribe since the beginning know that me and lex weight loss yes (laughs) however we've never stopped trying so we were just talking about what is it that makes us just stop and like gain all the weight back and then okay now we're back at it like how do we stay consistent right so i was sharing with her as of recently um i have been listening to affirmations daily and motivational videos like i am choosing what i put in my psyche mm-hmm. so on my way to work after i drop off nehemiah at safe key um, if I'm not talking to my mom, I'm literally playing like Les Brown or Dr. Eric Thomas. Those are my two top two favorite and Sarah Jakes Roberts. I love them. And she's not to me, she's motivational, but of course she's like spiritual. Some people call her religious, whatever. She's T D Jake's daughter. Okay. I think she's dope. Um, so those are my top three people. I also have this affirmation um video that I had challenged um a group of people to play for 21 days. Mm-hmm. And I play that in my ear. Um even just while I'm working sometimes it's just going. And I was telling her that like even on my days where I feel blah, I feel motivated. Mm-hmm. Like I'm changing the way I speak, I'm changing the way I think about things, like it it really makes a difference on what you listen to. Yeah, it does. And I was reading and they said it really matters what you hear or what you listen to the first 20 minutes of your day. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is when your brain is trying to figure out what kind of day are we going to have today? Yes, yes, yes. So I am learning how to affirm my day before I even go down for coffee. Yes. And so while I'm getting ready, while I'm brushing my teeth, whatever... I have affirmation, um, affirmations playing. And I know, like, my kids <laughs> walked in and were like, what is mom listening to? <laughs> but little do they know, their brain is picking up on this, too. This is true. Even if they're not paying attention. Yeah. They better hope I don't blast it loud in the speakers. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's a good way to start off the morning. That is true. What you put out into the universe will come back to you. Absolutely. And so, I, like I was telling her, I felt my best when I was doing that. Because I had to go back and think about it. Like, what's not connecting for me? Like, what am I missing? So I thought about, okay, when was the time that I felt my best self? When did I feel happy? Genuinely happy. Just waking up and going through my day, like, easy breezy. It's exactly when I was doing affirmations in the morning. Mm -hmm. Affirmations in the morning, motivational speakers. I listen to a lot of Super Soul Sunday because, you know, we love Oprah over here. Absolutely. And um, Deepak Chopra and all these people. I was meditating. I I mean, I was just really in tuned with myself. And I think that's when all the good stuff, you want to treat your body better after feeling so good. And so um, what the thing is, is I have, I had to tell myself because I kept saying, oh, I need to get back to that. I want to get back to that. Yeah. I had to start saying, I'm getting back to that today. I, I'm getting back to it. I am no longer going to keep wishing I looked a certain way and no longer wishing I would lose this weight and it would stay off and no longer wishing my back would start um, stop hurting. Yeah. I'm going to make it all happen because I know that I have the ability to do so. Sure. So, um, yeah, I challenge all of you listening, if you are feeling like how me and Lex have been feeling, I challenge you to take control of your shit. Like, understand that we can't blame anyone else as bad as we want to right we can't blame anyone else for our own shit Mm -hmm. so we have to own it and we got to go ahead and move forward once you own it it's it's gold now from here because we recognize it because we recognize it and so now if we don't do shit about it it's our own fault that's all the therapy really need (laughs) right (laughs) is to say you know it's me (laughs) 
It it's really not is. you. It's me. It's me. Yeah. I got to get it together. Yeah. I so try to blame my weight on my husband. Like, well, you've been making French fries and uh, all this good <laughs> stuff. And he's like, he hit me with a, well, you don't have to eat it. Uh, <laughs> and I can't yeah. even say nothing because yeah. he's so right. Yes. I could have ate something else. Yeah. But I chose teeth and fries That's or right. the mac and cheese he made. Yes. Or mac whatever it is because he's skinny <laughs> and he could just eat what he wants. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I have to remember that we can't um, eat like I don't have that life. Yeah, we can't eat like that. The struggle's real over here. Super real. I, I was blaming <laughs> the kids for sure. Like, oh, well, Man. you know, we're all going to partake in these chicken nuggets, I guess, today. Like, <laughs> Right. Even though been we like could that. make the kids something. And we I could know. take the time to make ourselves something else. Absolutely. But we don't. Yeah. Can and we, we like, blame being tired and working. Can't eat like and, a kid. Oh, I definitely blame being tired. Me too. For sure. I was like, I worked all day. I'm going to have me some French fries. Yeah, man. Whitney, those French fries. Nothing changed. You just got home. It's not going to have <laughs> you looking day. fine, fine. <laughs> right. The whole day. We get home. And I'm going to have me some fries right. and some cookies. Cookies for sure. And a glass of wine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now you guys see where the problem lies. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> but we are getting this together. Yes, we are. Today. Yes. Today. And we are. We are going to be fine, fine. Yes. It's inevitable. It's It's every small decision. Just think about it as, okay, now it's lunch. Let me make a smart decision. Just go moment to moment. And as bad as tonight, when I get home, I'm going to want to just shower and get in my bed. I will be prepping my salads for the rest of the week because I know my work crew likes to order out Mm -hmm. and I know that they like to buy me food. Yeah. And I know I like to say yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say no. Yeah. And I'm going to make sure that I have my salads, make sure I have my breakfast. I'm even going to go as far as to make sure that if my family decides to eat something unhealthy for dinner, there is something for me that I can make quickly. Yes. That's my problem. I need something quick. Yeah. So make quick meals, guys. Yeah, quick meals. I think that's another thing, too. I'll say that. I put a lot of pressure on myself to cook some big fucking dinner every night mm-hmm. when it can just be simple healthy and most healthy stuff is really easy to make yeah especially since it's starting to get warm now here in vegas yeah freaking chicken salads are life you can make them all kind of different ways so true you can make chinese chicken salad chicken caesar salad balsamic chicken mushroom salad you could do (laughs) whatever you want to do with some chicken and some salad you could put some shrimp on there if you want to yeah you can like i'm about to do put some smoked salmon on top of the salad if you want to so now that it's starting to warm up I think I'm gonna get it together in the winter time, fall time. I want those roast beef with gravy and mashed Carrots potato. and potatoes. Oh gosh, but <laughs> I'm gonna get myself to where I have some wiggle room this winter. So I'm talking like 175. Well, if we start now and once the <laughs> holidays come, we are more conscious of what we're doing and we can indulge and we in can some make of better it. choices. Yeah. Not you have eat your plate. three plates. We could just have you one have and your a half. plate, and you're good. Not yes. one plate. Well, one plate on Thanksgiving. One plate, but then your dessert plate. That's separate. See, I don't even eat desserts like I that. Do that. Give me them sweet potato pies, them pumpkin I eat pies, all the, the apple dressing. pies, <laughs> all the dressing, all the pies. I eat the dressing. <laughs> okay, yeah. So if y'all invite me over and y'all got nasty dressing, I don't want to come. If you got good mac and cheese, I'm good. Oh, you know that's our house. That's off top. all I need. <laughs> <laughs> you just give me mac and cheese. Yeah. So showing up for yourself um, health wise is the number one key because when you feel healthy and good inside, it gives you the ability to show up for yourself in other areas of life. Mm-hmm. So for me in my business, I need energy to do what I do, to do all of the things that I'm trying to accomplish. If I am sluggish and I'm overweight and I'm in pain and I'm feeling blah, I'm not going to be able to be my best self. That's so true. So how am I going to be able to be successful Mm -hmm. when all I want to do is go to sleep or lay down or just not really do anything active? So I have been pushing myself, even with the little bit of weight that I've picked back up, I've still been making sure that I make a conscious effort to still be active and still make somewhat of better choices. Yes. Do I have days where it's a completely bad day? Absolutely. Especially on like Saturdays. Mm-hmm. But yeah. for the most part, I still try to pay attention to what it is I'm consuming. 
um, because I know that I need to feel a certain way to do all of these things that I need to do. Mm -hmm. And you just become a happier person. I was so happy when I was constantly working out and active and hiking and doing all those things. Yeah, me too. It was like my best self. Yeah. And so when you know that, get back to your best self. Mm -hmm. And so I'm getting back to my best self. I mean, my hair is growing and flourishing. There you go. My edges is <laughs> in, even though I got a few silver hairs. It's all right. Uh huh. And so, yeah, it's time to get back to it. Let's do it. I don't want to have to put on a waist trainer to look sexy in my clothes. Right. Because that's an illusion. You got to take it off when you get in the shower. Yes. Then real life settles in. Yeah, it does. <laughs> 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 so true so true absolutely and it, it's just real you guys just show up for yourself and it starts with health Let's physical start. and mental too get your mind right mm -hmm. if you know you're a little crazy ain't nothing wrong with therapy you said it consumption go see a therapist consumption in all forms eating mentally yeah because yeah. I, I noticed i'm an emotional eater when yeah. i get stressed in life that's when i eat the most mm -hmm. i kind of envy those people that get stressed and just don't eat and lose weight Yes. Like, How do you why do couldn't it? that be my problem? <laughs> I be stressed all the time. I be skinny as hell. But not for all. Uh, that's not good. I'm just kidding. But the gym rats, <laughs> the gym rats who are actually using that as their outlet. I don't have that. Like, I don't care to be at the gym. I know I need to be at the gym. I feel like I got other stuff I could be doing. <laughs> I'm just saying. But people <laughs> love to go to the gym. Yeah. There are some people that is like, like their sanctuary. Shout out to Skylar because his ass is always in he the gym. He loves the gym. In the gym. <laughs> just give me that trait. A little and bit Bonita too. The girl who went, um, the young lady, not girl, young lady who went with me um, recently to the hill. Uh -huh. She, but she looks bomb. Yeah. And she yeah. loves the gym. That is her place. She puts her <laughs> lipstick on, her cute little workout clothes. I love and all that. she gets it popping. It's when you get there. Yeah. That is. <laughs> and I'm like, I love all man, that. But right. Yeah. <laughs> but she look, but she's like, you got to do the work to get here. Well, can I ask her how much time does it take for you to like it? <laughs> And I love mean, it and be there. You may not ever. Some people uh, don't really ever love that's the gym. Be me. That's going to be me. But that doesn't mean you don't go. That's true. There's women because you who start say loving that they your don't results. like it and their bodies are amazing. Because even at one time, Brandon was telling me you going to the gym again. And I'm like, yeah. Oh, that's good. It's because I was seeing my results and I was addicted to the results. It wasn't even the gym. Yeah. I think they're you more addicted goals to the results. You felt great about it. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's a good high to that's have. That's true. That's true. Better than being high off crack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now that's a whole other <laughs> down. <laughs> that's the whole other side, opposite Crack side. Crack black. Whitney said it. She did. Get high <laughs> off that treadmill. Yes. Them weights. And I have a treadmill at home. That's really sad. eventually, I want to like, I, I don't know. I think I told you. I want to lift, like heavy lift. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to do that. You told Not me. Not want to. I will be able to do that. I there will do that. So I'm going to get to the point to where I'm, I'm heavy lifting. I just... It ain't got nothing to do with how I want to be built. I want to do it. Mm -hmm. It's just a goal that I have and I envision myself doing. So that's, that's what dope. I want to do. Yeah, that's dope. That's dope. And I can't wait to show my, um when I first started working out videos and then my beast in it out workout videos. Yeah. You gonna have so a side people by can side. see <laughs> the difference. <laughs> so one day I'm going to have somebody just record me looking crazy on the treadmill. Yeah. <laughs> or the Stairmaster that tries to kill me. And the then master. I'm going to do in like six months, me just killing it on the Stairmaster. Yeah. And then killing it on the weights. And you see, I gave myself a number. Six months, guys. Remember that. There you go. Seis meses. Is that how you say it? Mm -hmm. Okay. I said it right. Y'all just learned <laughs> something new. Dropping knowledge. <laughs> Lex is getting a call, guys. Sorry. But, uh, <laughs> Unprofessional. <laughs> Jeez, Lex. I know. Gosh. Sorry. Sorry, guys. <laughs> also another part of showing up for yourself is showing up for yourself with your dreams if you have a dream that you are just sitting on and you are like well one day it's gonna happen or maybe one day i'll do it do your dream now because one day may not come about in your life your dream can be something as simple as I'm going to paint an amazing portrait mm -hmm. and I just want people to see how talented I am with a paintbrush. Yeah. Paint the portrait. Yeah. that's nice. Cause then you might just keep painting and people might just start buying. Right. You never know. 
everyone, t- I believe in my heart, everyone has a super gift deposited in them. Mm-hmm. Whether or not they activate it, mm-hmm. that's completely up to them. Me, I've realized my gift is speaking. Yeah. I can talk. Mm-hmm. And so I just need to figure out what I'm going to really talk about. Yeah. What's going to be, what is my voice really going to be used well, for? Well, you know, like people have that, like the talent to speak. What you're trying to figure out is how your platform is going to look. Exactly. What am I speaking about? Who am I speaking to? That That's the part. And, that, and I think that's why people dive into uh, different creative avenues. Mm-hmm. Like you said, if you just have an uh, inkling to want to paint one day and you've never even done it, just try it out because maybe you're so great at it and you don't even know it. Exactly. Because you didn't try. Exactly. So that's what, what I think you're talking about and what you're doing. And and yeah, you're right. Absolutely. Go like pull at all those straws. All Just them. try them. You yeah. guys who know me know that I've tried so many different things. But yeah. I believe I tried all these things because I had to convince myself that I could be more than just a worker. Yes. That I was allowed to tap into other realms and they worked Mm -hmm. and so now that i see that i'm like okay cool now it's time to hone in on what my gift is right which is speaking and honestly getting people to work together Uh i just kind of have a gift with doing that i like bringing other people together Mm because i don't like people all the time so i want y'all to work with each other (laughs) i'm gonna be over here y'all can work (laughs) with each other over there yeah yeah that's that's my gift and i understand that and i i appreciate it and i'm going to work on it and i'm gonna take it as far as i possibly can i honestly hope that i speak somewhere in africa one day and speaking you Europe like to delegate and, oh my god yeah You'd be a little politician a little governor <laughs> man it will work so well speaking and it will work so well you should be here there there <laughs> no absolutely right? yeah. i can so tell somebody what to do yes ma'am i'm good at that <laughs> <laughs> yeah i had years of practice uh-huh i got a whole about to be 15 year old oh my gosh that part in three teenager. years i'll have a grown-up Damn it. A whole 18 You know, when I think back legally on grown ages. <laughs> Man. I don't even want to think about it. All right, let's move on. <laughs> Y'all just pray she's not me. <laughs> Better version of me. That's Please. what we pray for. Better now version I see of what, me. See, you won't ever understand your parents until you get to that age. Now listen. Man, they said it. Whew. I know we just <laughs> went off tangent. But yeah, that we just, did. That took me to a place. That took me to a place. We child. did say it was therapy day. <laughs> <laughs> We're having our look. We got into some deep therapy. Yeah. Now I'm like, yeah, hey, maybe I need to go have a heart to heart with Gianni. See what her life is about these yeah. days. It's time for another mommy daughter talk. Dude, sometimes I stop and I I have to say to myself, okay, I'm about to ask her like, how's school? Like, how's I ask her how's school every day? But it's and it's, you get that it was good. It's good, yeah, mom. Yeah. We did this. Good. We went to PE today. We have to run three miles or whatever she says to me. But like you have to go more in depth sometimes. Yeah. So I'm like, you know, are kids nice to you? Like what kind of friends do you have? Like who's your best friends? What do you I guys do? I just had that talk with Gianni. Yes. I just had that with Sime about And it was ago. so cool to learn that she has such a diverse group of friends, like yeah. guys and girls. And they're not all black. They're like white and Hawaiian and there's a couple black and there's a couple Mexican and they're just all mixed up and they're all their own individual it. selves. And yeah. I think that's so dope. Yes. But like some of her closest friends are guys. Yeah. She was like, I just get along better I with like them. I like kids mom. like that. Cause those are the kids that are being kids and yeah, there's little kid drama and stuff, but like they're genuinely doing school stuff. Like they're exactly. genuinely just hanging out or whatever, yep. like going to whatever, get food. Yeah. I love that. I yep, love it. And I think those are the girls we have anyway. I really do. That's not the girl I was. Child. <laughs> I was, but I wasn't. <laughs> I mean, I had guy friends. Yeah, I did. I did have a couple, like, friends. And some of my favorite people were my male friends yeah. growing up. But, um... And me and girls. Eh. I had a few close friends. I did. I did. I had a couple. I had a, I had a couple. <laughs> I did. Um... Yeah. Some of them I still speak to to this day. Okay. Because they were cool. But I had a lot of not so great. Yeah. Me but too. I had to realize that, like, I was a wench too. It took me a long time to realize that, like, I had uh-huh. some wenchiness in me. <laughs> 
And it, and it's like, oh, I, I get it now. Yeah, I was like kind of a wange. There were some people that didn't like me just because they didn't like me. Like they really like couldn't you give didn't you give a, a reason. reason. Uh huh. But for those I gave a reason to, mm-hmm. I accept it mm-hmm. and I apologize for my wanginess. <laughs> I was raised that way. Okay. All right. We got past that. <laughs> that was me owning that. Yes. That was part of the therapy session. <laughs> Y'all got that one for free. Apologize for your wanchiness, okay? You know, I know some of y'all listening is some wanches. You know, the step forward is sometimes going back. <laughs> <laughs> that means Lex don't want to admit to her wanchiness. <laughs> no, I absolutely would. I absolutely would. But a lot of the times I will say that I followed probably more than I should have. I yeah, would me say too. that. Yeah. So... I don't know. I felt like they was being wanches to me. But it's okay. <laughs> see, I forgive you. Y'all see how she flipped that? Don't go to therapy and do that, okay? <laughs> you will not be able I to pro- go far. Okay, 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 all right. If you don't admit it. All right. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is therapy oh, you for sure. Guys, <laughs> it is for sure. This has been fun. And so we wanted to fun. have this. Um, little session because now we're about to start having our guests our on guests but we want to just be us for yes. a couple episodes yes we hope y'all didn't mind we hope you guys are drinking wine while you listen to this and got your feet kicked up yeah and you're yeah. figuring out how you are going to show up for yourself and yes. be the best version of you don't be the best version of you with a filter yeah be just you i love that be you like me, my hair is a hot mess right now, and um, my toes need to be done. Girl, <laughs> and, yes. But guess what? I showed up for me today, and somebody even told me they like the color of my toes. I'm like, uh, you must have looked from a distance, but thank you, because I so I'll need it. to touch these bad boys yeah. up this weekend, but yeah. I'm showing up for me. Good. I decided me it's time for me to show up for me, and I am giving less energy to people who do not like me. Yes. That's fine. Mm-hmm. Just remember, if you have beef with me, you got beef by yourself, because <laughs> I don't have beef with anyone. Yeah. I am really just focused on me right now, mm-hmm. my development, my little core tribe, their development, Yeah, and them little people in that grown man I got in my house. <laughs> that's it that's yeah. all that matters that's it and my mama hey girl <laughs> <laughs> but that that's it that's yeah. all i got for y'all is to be the best version of me i think this was pretty successful what's your little piece of wisdom you think you could leave the people <sighs> my gems are always simple <laughs> <laughs> simple gems it's so simple i mean i feel my best when i wake up and I am grateful Mm -hmm. and I give thanks and I look at what I have. Yeah. Just gratitude will be your best friend. Man, that will change your whole everything. Your whole everything. Even if you have to write it down, if you feel like it's something mentally you can't practice, write it all down. Absolutely. Say it in a video or something. Like it's, It's the best to just love what you have. Stop being depressed over things that you haven't quite got to or you know appreciate the things that you have in life absolutely that that's what i would say all right well it's been real you guys let the people know where they can find us lex oh yes ma'am so be sure to follow like and interact with us on our facebook page like water for chocolate and on instagram it's like water for chocolate podcast um you can follow truth on instagram at lady truth and truthful transformations and lex love at lex love nine All right, you guys. Well, until next time, it's your girl, Truth. Let's live. Bye, y'all. Welcome to In Pursuit with Lex Love, where I share makeup products, tools, books, and everything that carves out a little more time for me and brings me to a state of joy. Even the small things can bring you a bit of balance if you acknowledge it as so and recognize the intention. Today, my pursuit led me to Cantu's apple cider vinegar root rinse. It's amazing. Um, It's been a while since I've used shampoo, actually. I realized it was drying out my hair a lot. Um, I don't know if that happens to you. Um, So now I only condition, but there are those moments where my scalp needs a little extra love to remove the product buildup. So I came across this rinse. Um, 
it's not like getting the regular like apple cider vinegar that you may use for cooking or people take shots of it sometimes um it's a little less harsh it doesn't smell as crazy um but I'm, I'm telling you when you put it on your scalp it tingles it feels so good after you massage your scalp for a little bit um you'll be able to take it out right before you put in your conditioner um like I said it doesn't have a strong odor in fact it smells really really good um you'll just end up smelling your conditioner anyways all you need is a few minutes with this product and it'll leave your hair feeling super soft and super clean. Uh, it's about $6 for a 12 ounce bottle. And I think I found mine at Target, but you can get it at Walmart and beauty supply warehouses. So give it a try. Thanks for listening to In Pursuit with Lex Lev. talk about how it's okay to not be okay we are in a social media world where it is frowned upon to admit that you have flaws or admit that you have things going on or admit that you've encountered a hardship I want to let you know that we're all still human outside of social media and it is so okay to have days that are not okay it's okay to have weeks that are not okay The only thing that you need to do is just make sure that you work hard on figuring out, number one, what it is, and then make a plan to get better. Everything always gets better. It never stays the same. We all go through different cycles in life. So you know how last month you may have had a really bad cycle where you just mentally were just not feeling it. You weren't really showing up for yourself. You weren't really feeling like reaching out to your friends. You didn't really want to go do anything fun. You really just kind of... You know, we're feeling, you were feeling to yourself and that's okay. Only thing I would suggest is give yourself a day to truly cry it out, fight it out, pray it out, whatever you do. I don't know your spiritual beliefs and backgrounds. I pray it out. And then after that, make a commitment to yourself to make it better. But never be afraid to admit that you're not okay. Because if you're walking around with this strong face and you're feeling like, you know, I got to show everybody I'm okay. I got to show everybody I'm okay. You have a mental breakdown. Trust me. I've been there. So reach out to that trusted friend. Reach out to your mom or whoever it is that you feel you can be yourself, 100% yourself. And let them know, hey, I'm really like not okay. And once you finally say that, that's the first step. And then after that, it's healing and building up from there. And so if you ever have any questions or if you don't have that go-to person to just say, hey, I'm not okay, me and Lex Love are more than happy to hear you out. We have a judgment-free zone. Like Water for Chocolate is judgment-free. And so if you have no one to say I'm not okay, reach out to us. You can be a part of our tribe and we'll try our hardest to make sure that you come out okay. But that's it for the truth box. You guys be good, stay positive, and live your best life.